first off, it's basically like, it's like showing like the regular everyday TV show of like Charlie by Braxton, like, like, um, watching it and singing along to the Charlie and Friends show theme song being like, uh, um, here is Charlie, where is Charlie, there is Charlie, everybody loves Charlie. And then on the TV show version of it, we see that like, that like it sounds like a bunch of kids in the SML reboot version of it, which is the only, um, like episode of the reboot of Charlie and Friends. We see that like they made Charlie like do nothing but fart and do a bunch of dumb things in the reboot cartoon for kids, which is mentioned in like in like um how can I say this in like basically saying that like when companies and critics alike reboot shows when they have like no other ideas and such and even the writers not having any ideas which it's Showing that in the like, like SML video, basically saying, "Hey, um, this right here is no longer like working." But then, at the near end, it shows like the sign that was a thumbs down was actually upwards, meaning that it was actually good. Meaning that like, it's kind of saying like original. TV shows that don't need, need to, re, to be rebooted are always going to be, like, good to the audience. But if it's not, quote-unquote, like, good enough for, for, like, critics alike, it's not going to end up good. So, in other words, it's kind of like calling out, in other words, like, like companies for like thinking that like that like they need to reboot shows like there was the Animaniacs which I think was said it was like good of a reboot and then there was Scooby Doo um um Um, I kind of forgot the name of the new version of the show, but I, it was actually airing on Cartoon Network, and I recently watched basically these episodes. Well, actually one episode. I tried to watch this, the other one that was going to air, but then I was like, nah. It's just like the, it's just like the classic Scooby-Doo. I might watch it later in my room, because I was actually watching it in my living room because I was kind of bored but yeah um it basically is called like Scooby-Doo and guess who basically meaning that like people can end up saying that this is a good reboot because you know it's just acting like the regular 1960s or 70s I think original TV show and it really does, but, yeah. Anyways, now, there are other reboots that people may consider to be, like, um, to be, like, um, good. Also, ignore the sound you just heard in the background. That was just, like, like, some plates that I accidentally moved with my elbow by accident. So don't think it was like a, like a gun or whatever. Anyways, basically in the, in the Charlie and Friends problem, SML is basically like calling out like TV like reboots, meaning that like, meaning that like, um, it's in a way saying like that some TV show reboots are, are, are 
really terrible and really dumb. And that the original is always good, but then like Braxton goes ahead and goes up and, and shoots up like, no, tries to shoot up the the company that rebooted the the TV show, but then, but then, at the same time, I think it's trying to like, to like, to like in a way call out people who kind of go overboard with hating reboots to the point of thinking of, of threaten, threatening companies who reboot their favorite show and threatening them with violence with like a weapon and whatnot but yeah it even has this like little question at the end of the sml um um video i don't know why but for some reason of I for some reason stupidly um forgot that the word video was was getting out of my memory for some reason. I don't know. I don't know if my memory's not not that good because I barely woke up a few minutes ago and whatnot. But basically in the SML video it basically like says uh, asking the SML fans if they like the old Charlie or if they like the new Charlie more meaning that like that like SML was in a way trying to say that yeah reboots are terrible and should just stick to the original series but you know how companies are when they do reboots they either rewrite the characters like like um like personalities, the way they act, and the way they they might like, like recast some voices, like they did with Rick and Morty. Like I like the show, but I don't really like support the creator since you know the whole controversy with them, and plus because people tend to like have to like say either online or on video that they do like the show only and not the like like the creators saying that like you love the show but don't support what the what the controversial um creator did since um since like the co-creator I can't remember his name ended up being the only one in charge now of the show they just stuck with him since he didn't get into controversy well the same controversy as as justin roiland i think his name is and yeah because nowadays it's kind of like the whole controversy with yandere simulator not being finished and because like yandere dev since i already talked about this a few times in my videos um, got in trouble for being a you know what. Um, he kinda caused like, like um the original like like voice actress for like Yandere Chan to be like out of the picture and the voices of like Sampa Yandere Chan and the rest ended up like being so you know like passionate about like um um before I before I do anything about talking about the whole Yandere Dev um controversy in this video let me just say something real quick um it also says that that um that the comment has to be translated into English, even though it's already in English. But it says here that that um Nintendo was the one that animated it, even though like it kind of looks like the 
like the video that they that they showed for the quote unquote um Charlie and Friends reboot didn't really look like um N Nintendo's like like um like um art style which I'm guessing like people have said already has kind of improved through the through the years because back then people were saying that it didn't even look good at all and that it looked terrible because of the art style because um you can kind of see that um Nintendo's art style kind of improved in the Charlie and Friends problem animation if you've seen what I mean then you know what I'm talking about because I don't know how much is going to improve now that um you know it's been kind of doing things and such with improvements since I'm guessing he knows how many people have been criticizing him for not being as good of an animator so he's kind of improving so yeah that's what happened also, you can kind of tell that, that everybody kept on, on like liking the original old Charlie because it says here, oh, the old Charlie is cold and nothing beats it. The old Charlie and Friends intro bring back so much nostalgia and, and yeah, basically, um, the the um SML fans here I guess are saying that like hold on let me do something real quick anyways basically people are saying that that the Charlie and Friends intro bring bring back brings back a lot of memories in 2015 and whatnot basically saying that nobody in the world actually liked like the new charlie intro since that one is supposed to you know call out the whole the whole thing with industries like rebooting og like animations cartoons and live action stuff and turning them into cartoons which people can end up saying that oh it, it sucks and such. It's kind of like, um, how can I say this? 